Hello, my name is Mike, Delta Lima 2 Mike Foxtrot. I want to give you a brief overview of the latest changes to the MD380 tools for the Titera MD380-390 series and compatible radios. My MD390 is working with this build since more than one week. In a 24-7 operation, the mobile has been switched on about more than one week ago and during the night hours adapted to the stand charger being recharged. The new build gives you some very interesting options. One change has been made to the date format. You had um, an alternative entry at the end of the list and now you can select between two alternate entries. The last heard shows you instead of date and time the last heard call sign and if you select talker alias if a station is transmitting its talker alias this will be shown in the last heard line. You see now on the home screen a call sign Delta Lima 2 X-ray Alpha Foxtrot that has been called on 262 and he submitted a last heard entry. If no talker alias has been received the last heard will be shown here. So you don't miss a call. But you know my modifications are also focused on the Netmon screens and the Netmon 4 is already well known and also implemented into this version and you can see a few minutes ago uh, at the second line I have been calling and submitting my talk alias and this call was submitted due to my um, open spot hotspot and I have a special talk alias set for this. You see the new Netmon 5 gives you a better overview because here you have also two additional special line entries. In the third line you see Delta Bravo 0 Charlie Echo Lima time slot 2 talk group 9 and the number 234 with the arrows. This line is the page counter. This is page number 234 during more than one week of operation. That means more than 2340 call signs have been recorded during the one week operation and you have an overview how much activity you had on your radio. For example if you are using this uh, uh, about uh, several hours and you can see with the page counter this is always generated at the end of a page um, how many calls have been made there. You see also a line with minus uh, symbols at the end. This line is the channel name line. Every time a signal is being received not on the channel that you have selected with your rotary knob above, then you will get an information if a signal has been recorded from another channel. So in this Netmon 5 screen you have a mix of information. You see how many calls have been there and you see on which channel was the latest call. To get with uh, huge activity a much more better overview of active channels you have the new Netmon 6 screen and on the Netmon 6 screen there are not the uh, single call signs listed but the channel names on which activity has been recorded. And here you see for more than one hour back that several repeaters like Delta Bravo Zero, Tango Victor Hotel, Delta Bravo Zero, Charlie Echo Lima, Delta Bravo Zero, Alpha Tango Sierra have been received from my location and there was activity on these frequencies. You also see a frequency 434.225. This is my hotspot frequency. The radio is operating since Friday last week. More than eight days in a non-stop operation. And you can see it's currently in the scanning mode. I'm scanning my home zone and some channels from my home area. And if there is any activity, the scan will stop, a last heard entry will be generated and the list will be updated. All Netmon screens are running smooth and fine 
also netmon 1, 2, 3. Here you can see on netmon 3 there have been some data header signals received. And all this is operating more than one week now in non-stop operation. Most of the features can be easily activated by the MD380 tools menu. The date format gives you now two alternate entries. My last modification was the last heard entry to the date and time line in the main screen. And with this current release, you also get the option to select talker alias. I have selected talker alias and on the main screen in the last heard line, if a station is transmitting with its talker alias, you will get an update, the latest received call from Delta Lima 2 X-Ray Alpha Foxtrot was uh, without talker alias or talker alias has not been decoded. I will make a test transmission from my hotspot. You see my last third. The transmission was too short. Ich habe nichts gesagt, Hans. Ich, ich bin nur im Kern am Testen. Danke. And you can see. Okay, dann halte ich mich aus. Now by this station, Hans Delta Golf 4 Oscar Papa, who answered to my call, you see instead of the last third indicator TA for talker alias and his talker alias from his radio. <clears throat> this is a nice feature. Another nice feature in this version is this show call selection. This was in the old version uses CSV entry only and now you can select whether you want to show call sign information from the CPS, from your contact list in your code plug only from the user DB, from talker alias only, or if available from talker alias and users DB. The most comfortable option is TA and users DB. If a talker alias has been received, this will be shown, otherwise the information will be taken from the user database. Another option has been slightly modified and it's the side button menu. The options available are the same, but for example, if you select for the top button for single press manual dial, top pressed manual dial will be confirmed and not only um, entries selected like it has been before. So you are sure that you set the right option. And the last great modification is to the backlight menu. All backlight options have been put to a separate sub-menu. You can set your level for low backlight. I set this to off. The high setting for your display and the backlight timer. Comfortable all options included into one menu. The current available version operated on my radio has been compiled on March 4th and should be available soon in the official branch. This was the final burn-in test for my latest pull request and I hope this release will be available for you very, very soon. 73 is bye-bye. Delta Lima 2, Mike Fox.